If you have something wrong with your health or just for the routine medical checkup, what should you do? You can go to a hospital and do your check. But how? The easy one is to check your body fluid, blood and urine. It's good to know the general conditions of your health. After that, you may take some images of specific parts of your body to see physical shape. This can be done by x-ray, ultrasound, CT, MRI and so on. For this time, I would like to focus on urology. That includes urinary tract and male reproductive organs, that is, kidneys, uterus, bladder, rethra, and prostate. Female reproductive organs are not included here, but I introduced some of them as well as urahus, a fibrous remnant of the allantois, which leads to the bladder. First, anatomy. Kidneys filter blood and collect urine to excrete to maintain the condition of the blood, your body fluid. Here you have kidneys, ureters, bladder, urethra, and associated blood vessels. This is a kidney and nephron. There is about 1 million of nephrons in a kidney. Two of the kidneys filter about 180 liters per day. The system is almost the same between male and female, except from urethra. Male has longer urethra for his penis and exclusively has a prostate, where female has a uterus. Female reproductive system is not included in the urinary system, but it locates nearby it, so good to know. The shapes of the pelvis are different regarding the length, width, pelvic inlet, arc, and sacral concavity. You may be able to notice the difference on the X-ray or CT images. There are several imaging techniques to obtain the images of the systems. Ultrasound, which uses high-frequency sound waves, X-ray and CT use X-rays, MRI uses a large magnet and radio waves and scintigraphy scans gamma radiation. You can also use endoscope to actually see inside the body. This is about scintigraphy scans. Technetium is injected intravenously. In the same way, contrast materials are introduced in the body for X-ray and CT. Contrasts are the materials which contain radioactive materials. The one commonly used is iodine. The ability to distinguish materials depends on physical density and atomic number of the matter. Iodine is heavier material in our tissue. Calcium is rather heavier so you can see bones in the X-ray images clearly. In the same way, you use lead to protect yourself against unwanted X-ray exposure. Iodinated contrast has developed like this. There are some procedures depending on how to introduce contrast materials into the body to take pictures of urinary system. Intravenous urography, retrograde urography, antegrade urography. By the way, urography is also called pyrography. Intravenous means intravenously. Retrograde means from the lower part of urinary tract or downstreams. And antegrade means from the kidney side 
or upstreams. In this order, it will get more invasive. This is intravenous pyrogram. The contrast substances are collected to the urinary system and detected in the X-ray camera as the white silhouette. These pictures show the flow of the urine as the time passes. This is angiography. The line is not the passage of urine but blood. This is uretroscope. A small uretroscope is inserted into urethra and inspects the lumen. Kidney images. The left one is normal but the right one has congenital mesoblastic nephroma. You can see the shade of bubbles. Hydronephrosis. This is a condition where the urine is trapped in the system because it will not flow downstream in some reasons. The cause can be stones, inflammation, and so on. So kidney stones can block urine from flowing and even flow backward and have it held in the system. The system becomes swollen for the urine. The process of forming stones in the urinary tract, which cause blood in the urine and pain in the abdomen, flank or groin. Nephrocalcinosis is a condition in which calcium levels in the kidneys are increased. It can be caused due to hyperparathyroidism, so the blood calcium level gets higher. Polycystic kidney disease is an inherited disorder in which clusters of cysts develop primarily within kidneys, causing them to enlarge and lose function over time. Horseshoe kidney is a anomaly of renal fusion. It consists of two distinct functioning kidneys on each side of the middle line, connected at the lower poles or rarely at the upper poles, by an isthmus of functioning renal parenchyma or fibrous tissue that crosses the middle line of the body. Treatment to remove kidney stones can be done by extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy, uh, ureteroscopy, and percutaneous nephrolithotomy. The ureta is a tube that carries urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. There are two ureteras, one attached to each kidney. If the blockage occurs, the site shapes like a goblet or a champagne glass shown in the x-ray pictures. Uracus is a fibrous remnant of the allantois, a canal that drains the urinary bladder of the fetus that joins and runs within the umbilical cord. Transitional cell carcinoma is a type of cancer that typically occurs in the urinary system and it can be also found in the uracus. Bladder is a hollow and distensible muscular organ on the pelvic floor that collects and stores urine from the kidneys before disposal by urination. Dilated bladder is an overly distended bladder. The most common cause is obstruction. Bladder stones are mineral deposit that can form in the bladder. In most cases, they develop when the urine becomes very concentrated or when the person is dehydrated. 
This allows for minerals such as calcium or magnesium salts to crystallize and form stones. Cystitis is an inflammation of the bladder. In most cases, the cause is a urinary tract infection, which happens when bacteria enter the bladder or urethra and begin to multiply. Emphysematous cystitis is a rare type of infection of the bladder wall by gas-forming bacteria or fungi forming of air bubbles in and around the bladder wall. The most frequent offending organism is E. coli. Prostate is a walnut-sized gland located between the bladder and the penis in front of the rectum. The urethra runs through the center from the bladder to penis, letting urine flow out of the body. It secretes fluid that nourishes and protects sperm. Prostate enlargement can be caused by benign prostatic hyperplasia or by chronic inflammation. As it goes, it can create risk and cause pressure on the neighboring urethra, a problem with urination for men. It is one of the most common health problems for males older than 60 years of age. Prostatic calcely or prostate stones are small brownish gray stones that form in the prostate. Uterus is also the subject to form calcium deposit and bacterial infections. So in the same way, if stones are formed or inflammation occurs and then blockage is made, liquid can be trapped in the upper stream to the blockage. The area of uterus is around the urinary system. These are the x-ray images of female. Urethra is a tube to pass the urine from the bladder out of the body. It goes through the prostate, external sphincter, and penis. Keyhole sign in ultrasound is associated with a dilated bladder and prostatic urethra. Vesicoretral reflex is a condition in which urine flows backward from the bladder into the ureters or kidneys. Urinary tract infection. Examples are cystitis and staghorn calcile. Conclusions. Body has solid part and hollow part. Kidney is more like solid but also has hollow part in renal pelvis. Ureta is more like hollow because it is a tube to pass the urine. But also it is made of muscle tissues, so this is the solid part. Bladder also has both solid and hollow properties. It can hold urine and it is made of thicker muscle tissues. And urethra has similar to ureta to pass the urine. In pathology, the solid part can have inflammation and hollow part can get blocked. Inflammation can change the structure of the tissues and blockage can obstruct the flow of the liquid or urine. It restricts the passage or totally stops the flow and makes the urine flow backward and trapped in the upstream to the blockage.